Code grey, all clear. CST is Cerner, is now live. Code grey, all clear. CST Cerner is now live. Code grey, all clear. CST Cerner is now live. Go Team Proctor. We are ready to roll. <laughs> PHC was very engaged, so it was really smart that they got their local informatics people up and running way in the beginning. They were able to join us as part of design, they were able to join us as part of validation and testing. We'll be helping educate uh, staff that are dropping by our booth about what the learning team does and our place in sort of the learner's journey and how we help staff get ready for uh, going live with CST. Peer mentors are clinical team members from all disciplines, nursing, allied, pharmacy, medical imaging, that will come together to be the first team to learn uh, the new system that will really support their colleagues uh, during the training and adoption period and then transition to elbow support at the time of go live. We had some 1,150 physicians who were trained. There were at least 400 residents, and if you include the residents that are cross-covering, more like 600 residents, there was more than 100 medical students as well, and, and a significant number of nurse practitioners that, uh, who also were trained. I was really impressed with people's uh, willingness to learn what is very big and new technology, very big practice change. It really is a team effort and uh, everyone is pulling together, um, not only up here on the units, but there is an army of people um, down in the auditorium, keeping us all organized, keeping us fed, um, and making sure that everything goes smoothly throughout this whole cutover process. Day one was really challenging. Day two, they're starting to get it. It's feeling a little bit more natural. It's quite foreign to me, but there's certain things that are very intuitive. You do this, and it forces you to do this, and then it's not complete until it's complete. Barcode scanning as well is going to be great in terms of reducing patient safety events because now everything will have a barcode. You can scan um, at the bedside to ensure that you've got the correct product and it matches the MAR. Order entry I think now is more precise. Being able to view patient charts is excellent and for me, I'm not a very fast typer so the front end speech recognition has been a home run. I love it. It doesn't really change um, the actual care of the patient, the bedside care, but it changes a lot of the behind the scenes care. You even said at one point, well, it doesn't affect what the surgeon does. Yeah. You know, the, oh, you said to somebody, goes, it's still a scalpel. You know, yeah. still using the scalpel. <laughs> Nothing's changed. One of the biggest uh, improvements is that we can see all of each other's notes now in real time. We're trying to make sure that we're still having the FaceTime with patients that we had before and that the computers are not coming between us. But in general, it's in some ways giving us more time to talk to our patients because we don't have to go and look for the charts and find out if an antibiotic was actually given. I can actually go on, take a look at people's lab work, um, do some orders you know, away from the hospitals. That's much safer for my patients rather than having to go through the switchboard every time. Every day is a go live day until everyone in Providence is used to this new system. Productivity definitely is reduced. But within three to six months, almost everyone gets back to their baseline productivity. If people are struggling, they can contact the CST team and we'll help review their workflows and see if there's any tips or tricks that we can give them. This first week of implementation has been us literally jumping into the pool and figuring out that it's freezing cold right now. <laughs> But I anticipate that within a very short period of time, we're going to acclimatize and things are actually going to be okay. <laughs>